Hi guys, today we are going to do a multi bow wrap tutorial. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoy what we do. So for this tutorial we are going to be using a stretch wrap of a very similar colour to the cheesecloth you want to use over the top. Now this is one of our bigger cheesecloths just so we've got some extra length there to be able to use for the bows. But we're going to start first with just the usual wrap that we put underneath the majority of our wraps using the stretch wrap. So keeping arms and legs in. Now as always this doesn't need to be a neat wrap as long as it's nice and tight to keep arms and legs where they need to be because you've got that layer going over the top it doesn't need to be perfect. Now for this one I know exactly what pose we're going to be doing um, after we finish wrapping <clears throat> so I'm going to try and keep hands up as close to the face as possible because I know that's where I want baby's hands to be. Um, that all depends on how you want to kind of pose afterwards. So, now we've got the stretch wrap in place, we will go in with the cheesecloth. Now, I only want a small amount across the front to give a little bit of the texture. Literally just enough to cover the front of the, the underneath wrap and then when we bring this wrap round we're going to start with the bows. So just need to find the very edge of the wrap. I'm going to tie a bow like you tie any other bow, leaving a big gap here, just enough to be able to pull that fabric through. And then we're going to knot it again to make the bow look neater. And then <clears throat> when we bring the fabric round, it'll sit in the place we need it to be. Then we're going to go around again. Again, finding the edge of the wrap. Tying the bow like you would a shoelace. Making sure we've got plenty of gap down here for when we're pulling our bow through. Tying again to make it neater. And then again, <clears throat> when we're pulling that wrap round, the bow will then be in place. So the amount of bows that you will have will depend on the amount of fabric that you have. So this one is enough to have two bows. And then whatever else is left at the bottom, then we'll just be tucked in when we pause in baby. Now, we're going to bring hands out at the top for pausing. And here we've got a multi bow wrap. Thanks for watching and don't forget if you have any questions leave them in the comments below. Bye.